Uh, fight of the night was Lando versus Bobby Green. Performance of the night, Vincent Luque and Jennifer Maya. They all won $50,000. Congratulations to them. Uh, how did you rate Derek Brunson's performance? How did what? How did you rate Derek Brunson's performance? Yeah, no, he looked awesome tonight, man. Listen, he came in against a, uh, a, a young, up-and-coming savage that wanted to be, uh, you know, the youngest champion ever. And, and, and he did what he needed to do tonight. It looked good. Do you think he's underrated by a lot of people? Do I think he's what? Underrated? Uh, yeah. Um, listen, he's had some ups and downs in his career. And, uh, you know, tonight he came in prepared and fought the way that he needed to fight and did what he needed to do. You're he was in great to... shape, kept the pressure on him, you know, used his experience, and I believe used his wrestling the way he used to use his wrestling, um, you know, when he first came into the UFC. You're used to last minute changes, but Kevin Holland and uh, Giles that fell through at the last second, what exactly happened? Yeah, um, you know, he fainted. He fainted. Today, this was the fucking craziest week ever. Um, we got through it, you know, we're here. He fainted. Holland couldn't have had a, a, a better attitude about, you know, the fight pulling out. He's like, he, he was ready to fight tonight if, if we ended up getting Ed Herman back. Um, and he wants to fight next week or the week after. Whatever we want, he's ready to go. So, kid couldn't have had a better attitude about it. And, you know, I'm excited to see him come back and fight. Did you reach out to Ed Herman to see if he could step in today? Yeah, yeah. We, we were trying to track him down. Ed Herman's... Nickname is Short Fuse for a reason, okay? <laughs> he was pissed off about the fight today, and he was going crazy. And uh, then this thing happens, and we were trying to get him back. And um, how should I put this? Uh, he couldn't, let's just say he couldn't come back. He wasn't, uh, yeah, yeah, he was, he had moved on. <laughs> uh, Jennifer Meyer got an impressive win over Joanne Calderwood. Uh, on the broadcast, that she, uh, Valentina Shevchenko said, I'll see you soon. Is she the next number one contender? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, that's the fight. She looked, listen, I, I have a lot of respect for JoJo. She's been working hard, taking her career very serious, and, and, and has been back on track since she moved to Vegas. And, uh, you know, Jennifer looked damn good tonight. So, yeah, makes sense for her and Valentina to fight. Do you have a time scale on when I Valentina? Have, no, no clue. Okay. ASAP. Uh, and last thing for me, what did you think of the stoppage in the main event? Um, some thought Herb was waving off at the end of the second round, and then he waved off pretty quickly. Yeah, I, I mean, Shabazian looked like he was out at the end of that round. You know, um, I think that the doctor could have stopped. First of all, the doctor's obviously inexperienced. You know, I, I don't know anything about the doctor, but I haven't seen him before. You, you got Brunson, who ends that round strong many could argue that fight could have been stopped right there at the end of the round I'm sure the ref thought the guy would have time to go back what you don't do is talk to the guy for fucking 10 minutes well he's hurt you know what i mean either stop the fight or let him continue but go you know you're letting the kid recover while you got brunson who just did that work and he's waiting for the bell to ring so that he can go in and, and, and finish the fight pull the trigger one way or the other stop the fight or, or don't Cheers, man. Uh, Dana, right Dana, what did you think of uh, Shabazian? Uh, did, did, were you disappointed in how he fought? Kev, you got to take that off the talk to me. What did yeah. you think of Shabazian? Were you disappointed by how he fought? Um, no, I wasn't disappointed. He's, he's going in against... He's going in against... Listen, everybody knew, no matter what the odds said, he's going in against an experienced fucking guy. I mean, you know, you're going... To, Brunson's fought everybody. Everybody. Shabazz ha hasn't fought everybody. And uh, this, is, this is where you find out where a guy's at tonight. You put him in against a guy like Derek Brunson. What, did, what was your take? I mean, it seemed like, you know, he's had nine knockouts in the first round. It didn't seem like he was hurting Brunson at all. I mean, I know he's going to the body. I, I, you have to ask Brunson that one. I would disagree with you. I think Brunson got hit with some good shots tonight. And I think Brunson was in shape. He was definitely in shape tonight. Wrestled a lot, and he ate some big fucking shots in that first round. You're going to have to ask him that, though. I, did, I didn't get hit with him. He did. Yeah, I saw the one body shot that it kind of backed him up, but it seemed like... He, he hit him with body shots and kicks to the body, yeah. too. 
Yeah. It, seemed, it seemed like he did good work there. Did you see in Edmund, even though he lost the fight, did you see the things that made you think he was such a great prospect in the first place? Yeah, yeah. I, th I think the kid is good. I, listen, I'm taking anything away from Brunson, but he, he looked like he gassed out in, in that second round. But you got you got to credit Brunson for that, too. I think that Brunson mixed up his striking and his wrestling tonight like he used to. And uh, he, he also came in in great shape. You know, he came in, definitely came in in better shape than Shabazian did. And then lastly, just on uh, Trevin Giles, I mean, are you guys going to send him to another doctor or was the report you got enough that he, you're fine, he's okay, and he doesn't have to go anywhere when he gets home? Say it again. Trevin Giles. Trevin Giles. Are you going to send him to another doctor? In Houston when he gets home. I don't know. You Listen, we, 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 our, our crew takes such good care of these guys. They'll know where he's at and what's going on. You know, I think that the doctors tonight think that he hadn't, he, he, his anxiety went through the roof and he fainted, you know? Um, you know, that was one of those fights tonight that, that I picked to be, if you don't know, now you know fights. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of pressure and who knows what he was dealing with and, and he fainted. We had two faint, faintings tonight. I, it's crazy. So, Dana. You done, Kev? Uh, Jojo, after the fight, yeah. Uh, did Kevin Holland get his uh, any win bonus or anything? Because uh, so s these guys that didn't fight tonight, they all th they got paid some money, and we're trying to turn these guys around. I think Holland's going to fight next week, so they got paid some money, and then they didn't get their show money though. And, and what do you do with Vicente Luque? Uh, he be he was obviously ranked, but he fought a guy that wasn't ranked, and then he wins, and then he calls out Nate Diaz, who's right underneath him in the rankings. Is Two teammates are supposed to fight for a title next. So, what do you do with him moving forward? With Luke? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. You know, we, we got to, uh, you know, fights happen. We'll, we'll, we'll have a matchmaking meeting next week and sit down and walk through, you know, what's next and what's next for Brunson, too. And then, unrelated to this fight, uh, I think Connor responded to you on Twitter. He said, uh, I accept in Taglong, which is what Filipinos speak. He's obviously under the same management firm as Manny Pacquiao, which led to a lot of rumors circulating. So is there anything happening there? Who, who, who called him out? Connor tweeted, I accept in a Filipino language. He's under the same management team as Manny Pacquiao, which started a lot of rumors. I don't care about any of that shit. Hey, Dana. Hey, buddy. Uh, from a business standpoint, how did things go in Abu Dhabi? Oh, it was incredible. Abu Dhabi was successful in every way that you can call an event successful. And what was the transition like uh, coming back to here? I know August is a huge month for you. I think this is one of the busiest months ever with, yeah, with, with um, events. What's that going to be like uh, transitioning from Abu Dhabi to, I think, nine events here in, uh, at the Apex? Well, other than month. sleep for a few days uh, was, was, was a mess. Uh, everything's good. I mean, uh, you know, it's, it, was it was an incredible experience. Uh, you know, it, it was first class for everybody who was involved in the thing. And, uh, but it's good to be home, too. So it's good to be home. I'm excited to be back, and I'm excited about the Contender Series, you know, you guys know most of the people in here have been to them. They're fun. They're exciting. Uh, the thing's been so successful that, it, it, you know, this one's on ESPN+. Plus. This thing's going to air in Brazil. It's airing in Canada now. So this, this thing's really got some legs in the last couple of seasons. And, uh, you know, th these kids that are unsigned and nobody knows will literally be fighting in front of the whole world now. So... It's on a, it's a, a, the stakes are a lot higher. It's on a much higher level now, and I'm looking forward to it. What are your thoughts about how you guys have handled the uh, pandemic and the COVID-19 issues? Because Major League Baseball is ready to go down the tubes right now, and it seems like you guys have handled it from the get-go pretty, pretty well and, and have been able to overcome any, uh, any issues. Yeah, thank you. Um, I knew we would from day one. I, I knew that we would be able to do this. I knew that we would spend the money and get the right people involved. I believe in my staff, and obviously I believe in the fighters. I, I, I knew that we could do this, and I knew we would. Um, you know, there's a lot of mistakes that these other leagues have made, 
and that they could do it right if they wanted to, but I don't know. Was the mistake not being in the bubble? Yeah, you, got- you have to be in the bubble. It's impossible to pull this thing off without a bubble. You have to do it. One more. Uh, did you say JoJo passed out after the fight? I don't think yeah. we knew that. What happened? I don't know. She fainted. After, in the back after? Okay. After the fight, yeah. So we transported her. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a good night.